Okay, so so far we looked at formatting. We've looked at um, very simple formulas. We've looked at some harder formulas such as if statements and nested if statements. So now we're actually going to look at slightly more difficult tasks and look at number guess. So the things we're going to be looking at today is uh, how to create a guessing game. So this was going to require a random number generator. Um, you're going to have to get the information from someone, tell them whether it's higher or lower, and different levels, differently, different levels of difficulty. Um, looking at pseudocode, which is um, making a plan or a program. Um, I'm not going to go into too much into the counters and stuff, but well, let's get started. So this is as simple as I can need to get. Um, so I've got a number guess. This is my random, where my random number is going to come up. And then this is going to be the guess, and this is going to be if it's the right answer. So to get started, we need equals random number. So we do random open bracket, close bracket, enter. So this is going to be a random number, but we want to change that to be a number from, say, 1 to 10. So times it by 10. Okay, so now I get number 2, and I don't want the rest of it. So what we can do is take all of that. Okay, and we make it an integer. Now we remember from our functions earlier on that, that we could either get to round up or round down. Um, integer is going to be fine. So now you see we've got number one. Now if I every time I do a calculation, so every time I make a change, it's going to recalculate. All right. So next thing we want is the guess. So if I put my guess in here, it's going to be let's say five, because it's a number out of 10. So we better say number guess uh, zero to 10. Now I'm not sure. Well, we know it's an integer, so it means it should round down, I think. Hang on, let's just check. So the way of checking is click on here, check, click on integer, and it comes up, round down to an integer. So technically it would be zero to nine. All right, no, I don't really want that. So let's let's make it uh, zero to ten. Now the other way we could do that is with a function. Uh, if we go back to our functions, uh, spread, spreadsheet. Right, this is why it's always good to have it close. And we said round. Uh, truncate modular absolute value. No, we want round. I think so let's try round, see if what round does. Equals round, right? So round, round value. And zero round rounded rounded two so use round up For examples so 21.5 doesn't help me at all yes so rounds up okay so we could use round instead of integer so let's just try that round One, no, comma, zero. Let's make sure that works. All right, but personally, I like integer. All right. Now, because we want a, we want a guess. Okay, we've got a guess, and we want this to be equals if. So let's just come up with our idea. So here's our guess, and we want if it's uh, if the number. So number is let's do it. if number is equal to the guess. Sorry. So if it's equal to the guess. Then we're going to write 
correct. Sorry, equal to the number. They're all right, correct. If it's not equal, right? So this is the yes. Yes, we write correct. If the answer is no, then we want need to write another one. If it's greater than the number, right? So if the guess is greater, we need to go lower. So we need to write lower. Otherwise, greater than number. So if it's yes, we do lower. If it's no, we do higher. Okay. So there's our tree. So here I want to say equals if bracket this number is equal to this number, comma, then we write correct. Other as we write, oops, I have to put that in, in quotations. Correct. Otherwise, you write incorrect. Okay. Now, we don't actually want to write incorrect. We actually want to write another if statement. So if, oops, bracket, if bracket, this number is greater than this number. Right, so if I'm too high. I put lower, otherwise we put higher. And, oops, I forgot to put in max bracket, that's that sort of Okay, so here's my number. So random number is two, if I put two, it says higher, six, higher, lower. Uh, it's between two and six, five, lower, four, higher, All right? Now, What's happened, the problem we've got happening is when it's a random number, every single time I do anything, so if I put a space here and hit enter, it redoes this number. So it means that you, unless you guess it right on the first time, see, like that, that was a fluke. So here it's five, here it's five, I've got it correct. So if you get it right in the very first go, no problems. If it, you don't get it right in the first go, then you... you it, the, all the other information is not going to help. So what we need to do is we need to take this number and put it here so that when the random number changes, our guess, our actual number doesn't change. So what the way we're going to do that is with the macro. Now you might remember how to set up developer, right? So we need, so just in case, we go view and we turn on the developer tab. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to go in here and we're going to create, make a, a macro. A macro is a way of, of doing something um, that can be repeated, um, which may not necessarily be just a, a simple a simple recording or a simple um, calculation. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and paste just the value here. It's no good paste, copying and pasting because otherwise it will paste the random number generator. We want to just paste the value. So I go record. Right. In this case, it's going to be macro 12 for me. For you guys, it'll probably be macro 1. You can, all right. And if you want, you can put in what it's going to be. Uh, so it's going to be copy and paste value. All right. There we go. Okay. Start a recording. So I'm going to right click and go copy. And then I'm going to right click in here, paste special value. Okay. Stop recording. All right, so now I've made, I've recorded a macro. Problem is, we've got no way of setting off. So if we have to put in a button here, a nice big button. All right, and this is going to be macro now on is macro 12. That's the one we just created, which is copy and paste. Go OK. All right, and the other thing I want to do is edit text to be. Okay, let's try it first. Ah, see now last time I did this, same thing happened. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this out and try it again. Okay, so 
So record macro, macro 13 now, copy and paste, okay, and I'm going to use my, my keyboard this time instead, so command copy, go down, and I'm going to go shift command V, oops, try this again, record, okay, command copy, and I'm going to go Control Command V, and then go Values, and go OK. There we go. And then stop recording. And I'm going to create, create my button over here. Okay. Now, for now, because it's a, if I hit Space and Enter, you can see that the random number is changing here, but the guess number doesn't change. Create a button. Alright, that's going to be button 14. Okay, let's try it. So I click. Okay. So the only way it's going to work is if it copies whichever cell you're in. Alright, so as long as this cell is here, we can do it. So we need to put in that extra information as well. All right, which is why it wasn't working a second ago. So let's go new new number enter. All right. So now let's try it. So our number's 2. So let's try 5. So it's lower 3. Right, now uh, this button we need to change. Right, so instead of going looking for this number, we want to be looking for this number now. Okay, so number is two. Hang on, let's just get a new number. Right, number is number is one. Let's try five. Lower three. Lower two. Lower one. Correct. Okay. Try again. Nine, so five, eight, nine, done. Okay, so we've got our number game. We have to, we'll have to put a highlight around here so we know where we're copying from. Here and press new number. Okay. So now what we've done is we've created our base spreadsheet. Right, so click there, press new number, we got a new number. Right now, the problem is I can see it's number six. Right, so let's put a six there. If, however, I want to make it real good, I'm going to make that clear. Sorry, make it white on white, make that white on white, so I can see it's number six still. I can click on here. I have no idea what that random number is. When I hit go, it's obviously put in two. All right, so five. Lower than that, three, lower than that, two, correct. All right. Now, if you want to get really good, you can work out how to do the counts. So how many times you clicked. You could change this because there must be much better ways of doing this. Um, you can actually really get into some serious stuff by if we right click and go view code, we can start getting into um, how this is actually working. All right, with modules and stuff like that. Right, but that's way beyond what I'm expecting. That is high, high level stuff. All right, for now, we've created a new number. All right, good luck.